What is going on guys, it is Lely206 here and this is a video showing you the new penalty system in PES 2014 as both penalty kick taker and goalkeeper and also for people who use the left analog stick to play or the d-pad to play. So we start off by taking penalty kicks with the left analog stick. If you want to use the target guide all you do is hold the sprint button. Now my best piece of advice is to think of that left analog stick as the goal. So if you want to go for the far left corner all you do is push the left analog stick as far across to the left as you can and you hold it there. If you let go all it does is snap back into the middle. It's not like FIFA where the longer you hold it the more it slides across and then eventually off target. All you do is hold where you want to actually place the penalty. So if you want to only place it 50% to the left all you do is nudge the left analog stick 50% to the left. Now. I'm going to take three penalties here exactly the same and you can see the risk it has by putting a lot of power in it because that ball can go anywhere in that circle like so if you put a lot of power in the circle gets a lot bigger and you'll see here the th three penalties are exactly the same and you can see they all have different outcomes. Now you can see powerful penalties become more risky once you go from them far corners because that circle starts to go on the wrong side of the post. I assume players like Perlo will start off with a smaller circle and I would imagine fatigue would have some sort of part to play in it. Like if it was at the start of a match the circle will start off really small, if it's at the end it would be a lot bigger. Here you can see I'm swapping power for placement because that circle only gets a little bit bigger when you add more power, well less power and it's more likely to find the centre of that circle. Now the only difference with the d-pad is because it's not as precise as the left analog stick you can't hold it in certain positions like 20% to the left. So what they've done is they've put in snap points so from the centre circle you can go 4 to the left or 4 to the right, 2 up or 2 down and obviously you can mix it up and go for wherever you want to go and the shooting is the exact same. So now we're going into the goalkeeping and here's a nice well animation. I was wondering if you could ever actually make the save like that because I've not ever made a save like that. And in PES 2013 I've realised that you can never actually dive over the ball in a penalty shootout so that's something nice and new to see. But now here's a pretty routine standard save but what I want you to look out for here is when my goalkeeper takes off because it's you know he takes off as soon as I hit the ball but then in the next three penalties what I decided to do was I thought let's leave off late and see if it actually makes a difference and you can clearly see that it does like the goalkeeper does set off a lot later so for weaker penalties that's great you can see I'm actually going to slow it down so you can actually see that one was like an incredible save because that was a really uh, late takeoff as well look how close that ball is to him when he decides to take off well when I decided to make him take off and I'm going to show you all the all these um last three penalties look how late the well that's the first one that's you know instant takeoff from the goalkeeper as soon as he takes it but the next three look how late they look how far the ball is or look how close the ball is to the goalkeeper when he decides to move so that's the end of this video guys I think this is a much better penalty system than the one in PES 2013 I hope this video was very informative and helpful if you did like this video remember to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more remember to subscribe and thanks for watching guys